In this video, we are going to discuss about CS3271 Programming in C Laboratory, Exercise number 6B, Passing Arrays to Function. Now, let's see the syllabus for Regulation 2021. This is the syllabus. Here contains a list of experiments and we are going to see the 6th B exercise that is Passing Arrays to Function. Before entering into the topic, first let's see what is a function. A function is a group of statements that together perform a task. Every C program has at least one function which is main function. It can divide up code into separate function. Each per function performs a task. In this we will be having function declaration and function call. A function declaration tells the compiler about function name, return type and parameters. A function definition in C consists of header and body. Function call while creating a function give definition of what function has to do. To use function call that function to perform defined task. When a program calls a function the program control is transferred to called function. A called function perform defined task and its return statement is executed or its function ending close brace is reached. It returns a program control back to the main program. Now we are going to see what is passing arrays to function. An array when passed as function argument is treated as a pointer by a function. To pass an entire array to function only the name of array is passed as an argument. The array defined as formal parameter will automatically refer to array specified by array name defined as an actual parameter. Now let's see the lab manual for regulation 2021. It is a lab manual access number 6b passing arrays to function. This is the aim and this is the algorithm and this is the program. So we are going to passing the array to function it is passed. Now let's execute this program. To execute, I am opening C++ in program files. So I am opening this application. So click on file, new, click on source file or else, or else plus control plus N in your keyboard. So after typing this program, I have to save. Click on file, click on save as. You can save the with any file name with .c extension. As the 6th B exercise, I am saving it as 6b.c. Then after this, click on execute button and click press F9 in your keyboard or click compile. So, compilation status is no result, no errors and no warnings. Then click on execute, click on run or press F10 in your keyboard. So we have obtained the output as 3 and 7 because it is asking to display the array of 1 and array of 2 alone. So array of 1 means, uh, so here the number 2 is array of 0, so 1 is 3. So 3 I have obtained this output, then array of 2 is 7 because array starts with the index 0. So 2 means it is the array of 0 is value is 2. So array of 1 is 3, array of 2 is 7, array of 3 is 5 and array of 4 is 6. So you have to remember the array starts with the index value 0. And here I am asking you to display only the value for array of 1 and 2 alone. So this output is obtained here. Same output we can see in a lab manual also. Same output 3 and 7 is obtained. So, we also obtain the same output here. We can run the same program in online compiler also. So, it is online gdp.com. You have to open this. And some codings will be displayed. We can remove that coding. After typing this program, click on language and press C. You can press run or press F9 in your keyboard. So after this we have obtained the same output as 3 and 7. So same output is obtained in our lab manual also. And while running dev C++ also we have obtained the same output. 
and while running in online compiler also we have obtained the same output as 3 and 7. Finally, we have executed CS3271 programming in C laboratory 6B exercise. That is how a C program using passing arrays to function is executed. I hope you have understood. Thank you.